let, let us see what parrot archers are capable of. Well, it's going to be an absolute joy to hear what you have to say to this. I mean, a Paralympic champion in our midst to talk us through this. We're going to start with the visually impaired gold medal match and down on the field of play. As you can see, the athletes are getting ready. I say that, it looks like we've moved on straight away to the uh, women's W1 gold medal match. And in fact, it's going to be Nil Messier of Turkey taking on Sarka Musilova of the Czech Republic. Both uh, in wheelchairs. Uh, John, you're a wheelchair user. What's it like shooting from a wheelchair? You know what? Uh, as a para-athlete shooting from a chair, it's, you know, I've been called that I've got a, a disadvantage or an advantage because, you know, the able-bodied like to say that we're shooting from a mall level play, uh, level platform, but we we shoot from our core. So we, we, we generally feel the wind through our bodies, unlike the able-bodied archers that could sway with the wind, we get buffeted more. So tricky, to say the least. And in this uh, W1 Open Gold medal match, uh, the archers are able to use both recurve and compound bows. But as you can see, uh, Neil Messier, who's going to get this one underway, is using uh, a compound bow. Now, is that normal, John? Yeah. Why would you? Put, why would you put yourself at a disadvantage shooting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's shooting compound. And it, it, look, I, I, I don't want to uh, belittle one or the other discipline, but is it just easier with a compound bow? Uh, it is, to be honest. But, you know, it's also you miss quicker when you shoot the compound because the bows are so much faster. She got lucky with that arrow. Mm. You say she got lucky. What, what do you mean she got lucky? Uh, she had a bit of a twinge midway through a draw up and she was sort of preempting the arrow. Well, miss with the first arrow is not the best of starts from uh, Sarka Misilova. But uh, she does finish solidly with two nines. Uh, so the uh, advantage very much uh, with uh, the, the athlete from Turkey. Is there any way of coming back from uh, such a deficit in the, in the first uh, end? She's on home soil. You know, she's going to yeah. have the, the, the full support of all the, the, the crowd being fully behind her. Yeah, it gives you added pressures as well, being on the home soil, that you feel as though everybody is sort of pointing the finger, you know. But Turkey have got a fantastic para program at the moment, you know, so they're a nation to be reckoned with. Well, Turkey are, are well known within uh, the non-disabled uh, part of the sport, uh, a massive uh, center in uh, Istanbul, but of course they, they mainly train out in Belek and, and Antalya, of course. Uh, how is the program in both of these countries? Uh, you, you can appreciate in Turkey because they, they do have such a strong able-bodied team that they try and coincide, that they, they, you know, train, they cross-train with their, with their able-bodied counterpart. As far as the Paralympic program in, in Czech, it's very much that they keep themselves to themselves, even though they have a lot of able-bodied uh, coaches that sort of oversee what they're up to. Fairly for uh, Saka Misilova, who's here in this gold medal match. Maybe 
just going a little high here. Yeah, good shoot by the Turk. Oh. Yeah, big movement, isn't there? Yeah, a lot of preemption on the shot there. She's she's very tentative as she goes to release the arrow. Well, it's a the very solid good. start. Yeah, very good follow through. Absolutely, yeah. So very, very clear confident lead. Yeah, very yeah. confident. Look, look you t you talked about um, the the buffeting of the wind, and it and, and it can affect uh, wheelchair archers uh, more so than uh, the non disabled archers. But uh, th there's a lot of movement, isn't there, from uh, Musilova? There is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Musilo Musilova from Czech Republic shoots a lot with David Drahinsky, you know. So I think she needs that. How can I say that uh, team? team person alongside her you know so but with the turkish girl you know she's you can see it she's very confident she knows that she's been shooting well all week you know so she's going into this match fully how can i say she's she's expected to do well expecting to win and has a 15 point lead after just two ends so very solid position we need to see sarka Mislova from uh, the Czech Republic, or Chechia, as I'm told, uh, it's now commonly referred to, uh, to really up her game. But you can see there's just a little bit of tension there. She's looking just a little nervous. She'll shoot first in this third end. Yeah, she needs a positive start. Can she get it into the gold? Another big flinch. She'll be happy with that, but she won't be happy with the technique. Eight. Well, a point gained back from uh, Musilova. She needs a few mm -hmm. more of those. Absolutely. Oh, oh dear. Really struggling, really struggling with those nerves. Yeah. And, uh, gets a, a six there. That's her lowest arrow so far, apart from the miss right at the beginning. And all it does, it, it, it feeds more pressure onto the next arrow, you know. It's a wide group, a deep breath there, trying to compose herself. On the other side, Neil Messier looking solid, in control. Just a little bit of movement there, up and down. Yeah. Put a low one in. Getting a bit cocky. <laughs> so listen, John, look, you've been right at the pinnacle of the game. You know, the, the, the best in the world. Uh, for for a long time, w what is it like when you're out in this situation? Clearly, very hot there, as you see, Neil is here pouring some uh, water over her the back of her neck. What what what's going through your mind? T tell us about that uh, Paralympic final. Are you, are you are you in the zone or are the yeah. nerves? What's going on? Absolutely, you just get into the zone, and you just you know you you have your agent and your coach, and you basically you just don't want them to be talking technical. You just want them to talk gobbledygook to you about anything, yeah. about the weather, about the music playing in the background, just to take your mind off the archery. You know, you train for this. This is what you do. You know, you shoot arrows in your sleep. So you know how to shoot an, a good arrow. You don't need reminding of it. You just want to enjoy it for what, you know, not everybody will get to shoot in these medal matches. 
soak it up and enjoy it. Easier said than John. But that's a Paralympic champion telling you uh, that's what you need to do. So who better to listen to? Sarka Misilova here uh, in a little spot of bother. Uh, I think this is, um, I don't want to say irrecoverable, but very, very tricky now. You know, she needs a good, she needs a couple more of those. Put the pressure on the Turkish lady. And it'll build her confidence. Well, as you say, John, the pressure is off a little bit. That miss right at the beginning, perhaps. Uh, starting the story of this match. It is, of course, for gold. So, uh, you know, we've got to give credit to Musilova. She's made it all the way through. She's starting to look a little bit more confident now. Yeah, absolutely. And she's got to remember, she's coming away with a medal. <laughs> you know. It does take the pressure off you a little bit when you're in a gold-silver medal match because at the end of the day, you're coming away with something. Another little bit of movement there, and uh, that's yeah. just drifted out left. You can see in her face that she's not happy. Long hold. Worth it, though, hey? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, that's when the time starts to encroach. You start worrying about your time and are you going to run out of time? Because you only get 20 seconds to do this, you know, this shot. And in terms of the draw, I mean, it's interesting because looking at the differences, we don't see as much uh, para archery as we do the able body uh, content. In terms of your quiver, that's what on the side of your chair is. Is the process similar? Absolutely, the process is absolutely identical. The only difference for these girls is they're at a limited draw weight, whereas able-bodied and, and the men and the ladies are shooting 60 pounds. These people are shooting under 35 pounds. So they're going to get affected by the weather. But unfortunately, the weather affects you more than it affects the arrows. And it's basically blocking that out that the arrow, once it's on its travels, it's not going to get blown by the wind. So you talk, you talk about the, the, the bow weight. For, for, for new watchers of archery, what, 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 do you, what does that mean? What does bow weight so mean? When this girl draws up, it's, she'll draw up and it, she'll draw over 35 pounds. And then she's holding now at full draw about 10 pounds at full draw. So it means that she can set, stabilize on the shot for a lot longer. And stability, obviously the key when you're looking down the side, trying to put this into the middle Absolutely. of the target. Absolutely, you know, and these girls are shooting off recurve sights, so they don't have scopes. The compound unlimited class have a, a bubble spirit level on their sight. Yeah, so John there referring to the aids, if you like, uh, for the archers. Sight scopes, and you'll see the stabilizers on the bow, the long rods that stick out from the bow. They're there for balance and control. So this one now, you have to say, pretty much out of reach, mathematically yeah. so. She's shooting for pride now. Yeah. So 117 on the board. X10. And finishes with an X10 and a 25. Her lowest score apart from the third end. But uh, Neil Messier from Turkey. A very confident winner here in the women's W1 Open gold medal match champion of Novi Mesto 2023.
So confirmation there that Neil Messier from Takia has taken the women's W1 Open gold medal here at the first stage of the European Para Archery Cup and a very dominant performance from her.